Welcome back, everybody. We are going to continue our little game of Die World. Let's go. So, uh, in between the last episode and this episode, I kind of did a thing. Excuse me. Ah. <laughs> also, just had a little bit of a drink. Uh, remember last time when I said that limestone is a bit of a problem? Uh, there has not been an update yet for that, uh, sadly. However, uh, spawning in ore fields is actually not that hard if I press the correct buttons. And I just used the console to spawn in three limestone fields around my base, which is more or less the same size as, for example, sandstone over here was 430, this was 320. The granite is half a million over there, so I think this is fair. I think this is fair. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I spawned this one on top of the impure tin one. Perfect. Uh, excellent. I didn't even notice there was impure tin over there. Uh, good. So I made a little bit of a mess for myself, so that is perfect. Let's continue on in this story mode. Now, we still, have to need to, we still need to kill some of the natives. That is fine. That is fine. Uh, let's see if we can do something over here. Let's get some of these belts in. Let's get some of these in. Let's get some of those in. We do need way more bronze. We should absolutely think about automating bronze over here. Um, now, bronze, of course, needs two different inputs as well as a fuel input. Uh, which already makes it a little bit harder to automate. Now, we, we, we have our usual builds. Uh, usually, we, we have our smelter build that goes something like... I'm just going to sketch this real quick. Something like this, something like that. And then we have a half and half belt on the left and a half and half belt on the right. Uh, and then we have something in the middle going out. Uh, this will probably not be the best. I'm also not quite sure. Let's check that real quick. Um, can the burner inserters over here feed from, uh, for example, the... Yeah, let's just put everything in there. And let's give you some kind of fuel. Can the burner inserters over there feed from uh, the furnace themselves? I know that there's an option that they can do that, but I'm not quite sure if that option is on or not. Uh, it might be... Is it the map set? It's probably a map setting. Uh... It's definitely the map setting. <laughs> well, <laughs> that doesn't work already. Uh, but that's fine. We could always still use loaders. Yeah, what's that? Over there. And then he ran out of fuel. Yeah, okay. Now we know. Now we know. Okay, so we, we need to make this a little bit different. Uh, we could do it in two different ways. Now, I don't really want to be going too feisty on the belt magic, especially in belts that go up, down, left, right, and center. I do kind of like the idea of burn inserters and everything like that. Uh, I got an idea. Let's place these down again. So, we could go with a half and half belt of... Uh, impure copper. Actually, we should maybe go with a, fuel belt, a full belt of impure copper because... Nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, where's my belt? It's still okay. First of all, belt over there. Let's 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 set this thing up. Belt over there. Eh. Underground. Splitter. Loader. Yeah, that, that works. So, something like this, something like that, something like this. Um... That could work. Or we fully commit and do something like... Um, do we really make some loaders? No, we still need to make some loaders. Yeah. Here some of these. Uh, you over there, you should also be making some more gears. Because we're going to need a whole bunch of these. And why did you stop? Because you are out of this. There we go. Good. Uh, we could double eat like this. And one belt will be pure copper. And the other belt will be half and half um, copper and fuel. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't think we have... Nah, these, these are the long burner inserters that shouldn't exist for us. 
Um, okay. But then we would need... How about this? Middle belt will be half and half tin and fuel. Outer belts will be half and half copper and fuel. That works. And then we feed like this, this, and this, and this. Because the recipe for bronze over here, eh, impure tin, we only need one every now and then. Uh, that'll be fine. And then we could just do something like this. I'll put like this, I'll put like this, I'll put like that. And then... And then we need one underground. Uh, for underground, I probably need some bronze. Yes, I do. Zip. And then on top comes this, that, this, that. And then we pull you along, pull you along, pull you along, and pull you along. So you do need this and that, as well as this and that, which means we need another underground over there. We'll be a little bit lighter on the underground, but this could work. Let's make a copy out of this. Oh, I do hope I get my nanobots soon. Now, you do kind of get nanobots somewhat early in this game. Um, and you do get a decent amount of them because building with nanobots is... Yeah, it's, it's kind of required in this one. I mean, actual flying construction bots is going to take a while, but nanobots is the thing that you're going to get soonish. And we're going to make this thing over here somehow. Uh, we could still always flip belts, but this will be like our first bronze automation. Let's go with this. Don't think we have the belts for it yet. Uh, do we make some belts down here? Oh, we do. But, ooh, this thing has. Yeah, put some more stuff in there. But yeah, uh, automating some belts, definitely very, very important. You also put some stuff in there. Get some circuits out. Uh, get some pipes out. We're also going to need those at some point in time. Uh, and then let's pocket craft some undergroundies. And also let's pocket craft some loaders. Because we are going to need them. There we go. That should be fine. And then, of course, I didn't set the recipe in these. But you know what? So be it. So be it. And I mean, this is the first automation. The first automation is definitely one of those that you are going to be uh, deleting sooner or later. So it doesn't have to be pretty. The only thing it has to do is it has to work. And this thing will definitely, definitely work. Uh, there we go. What do we need for these? More of these. Zip. There we go. Get some belt, get some of this, get some of that, get some of this. Get some of that. Perfect. And then... That should be fine. That should be fine. Um, no, we don't have these yet. Let's place some more belts. Because we can. And then... The undergrounds. There we go. There we go. There we go. That does the trick. Just double check if I actually pressed that random recording button. Oh, I see an issue over here. Um, that's fine. That's fine. We can just fix it like that. You're going the right way. Perfect. And then we go something like this. That. This. That. This. This. That. This. That. This. Good. That works. And then we have the initial um, smelter for... Oh, this one's going the wrong way. There we go. For some bronze automated. Now we just need to feed this thing up. And then also need these, 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 these. Don't need to do this, this, that, that. This, this, that, that. Not quite sure how much of we uh, how much we need of this, but this is a start. And if you're not making enough, then the golden rule of Factorio applies. Double it down. Uh, good. And let's also cut you. Technically, we ca we, we could calculate. Um, I mean, this one is making one plate per second uh, in a crafting speed of 0.5. So two of these make one plate per second. We got 16 of them. So that's eight of them. That's eight plates per second. If we double it down, we would get a full yellow belt out of this. Um, 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. But for now, we also need to hook up um, the drills. Do I already have electrical drills? No. <laughs> so instead of using electrical drills, we are just going to use loaders and stuff like that. Um, that is going to make it a little bit easier. Uh, let's see. We can make a fuel chest over here and a fuel chest over there. That's not going to make any difference. Now, nah, let's just make it... Simple and stupid. Simple and stupid always works. Don't overthink things. Simple and stupid. There we go. And then, of course, I missed... Oh, I missed everything. <laughs> Good. And then, let's see. Lignite. Do we have some coal? We do have some coal. Uh, let's put coal on left sides. There we go. And then things like the impure tin... Bonk. <laughs> Go into there. And let's pick up some of the copper. And some copper. Oh, so did the coal already run out? Wow, that was fast. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Put that there. And then you... In there, in there. I'm not quite sure if this is going to be fast enough, actually. <laughs> um, oh, it's, it's definitely not going to be fast enough. Um, is this impure iron? That's impure iron. Uh, <laughs> also, where, uh, that was miles away. Well, good old belt pollution. We got this. We got this. One moment, please. Also, while we add it, place one of these. Because we are going to be automating. And then we need one more chest. Out of wood. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Where did my wood go? <laughs> one chest, please. Put that on top. Good. Uh, impure tin. It's over there. Okay. Um, let's pick him up. It'll be faster. We could just place him down again. There we go. Yeah. There's the impure tin. Perfect. Impure tin. In you go. Yeah, I can see why loaders are recommended for this one. Then again, we're only going to need... Seven every ten. I think it might be fine. I think it might be fine. There we go. And now we have a simple, simple automation tool over here. And all the bronze will be going into here for now. So that we can always check this chest if we need more bronze or not. Good. Um, that's at least a start. Uh, what can we do in terms of warfare? Now, warfare is definitely something that's not too easy in Dire World. Uh, we should probably get ourselves some med packs. We also don't really have the best gun around. But I kind of promise that we can't take a look at um, the weapons over here. Now, if you take a look at your bullets or your magazines, it doesn't really matter. Both of them do the same damage, but this is basically a clip of one, whereas this is a clip of 250 shots. Um, however... Uh, look at the damage values. Uh, bronze plated bullets do 4.15 physical damage and 2.07 impact damage. Now, the physical damage is things that the Bardas can protect against. I don't think they can protect themselves against the impact damage because it's its own damage class. If you take a look at the tin, plate, uh, tin plated ammo over there, you will notice that it not only does it do more damage in terms of physical, no, it does less damage, sorry, it does less damage in terms of physical and impact, but it does add 2.5 acid damage on top. And that acid damage is basically what is going to give us a little bit of a kicker. Uh, but for that, we're going to need some more crafting machines. Um, crafting machines, of course, are over here. What are we missing for these? We are missing some tin plates. No problem. Let's have you over there. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make a couple of these. Uh, let's also get these. Get that. Get this. Get that. Get this. Yeah, you have some of that. Always be making belts. And then let's make a bullet machine. A 
something, something, something like this. Uh, you in the middle, you're going to be making tin plated magazines. You over there going to be making tin plated bullets. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, what do we need? We are going to need some kind of container. Where did all my wood go? Let's go up to our wood maker and get ourselves some wood. And love to see this thing over here already go. There we go. There's all our wood. What is it there? Way that's a lot of wood. Yeah, the start of the game is basically you're not going to be doing any grand automation schemes like in in basic Factorio. You're basically more or less stuck in in let's do it in in scrum mode over here. But that's fine. That is fine. Okay, we're gonna have one over there. We're gonna have one over there. Um, we're gonna have two over there. Then we're gonna need a couple of loaders. We got a couple of loaders, but we're gonna need a couple more loaders. Uh, loaders also don't require power, so that's more or less also why they're absolutely good to have. Yeah, let's make some more loaders. Yeah, pro tip: always, always craft some of the um, uh, intermediates so that you just can quickly craft the things that you actually need in your pocket. Um, because crafting intermediates is usually the thing that takes like forever. And we probably also want to make some more burner machines over here. Now I could make this a bit better, of course, uh, but to be perfectly honest, um, just make it work. Making it work is worth so much more. And then, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's just going indirectly. We could make this so that it saves a little bit on... Uh, <laughs> on in loader space and stuff like that. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And then we need a little bit of belt. You go this way, you go this way, you go this way, you go this way. Uh, we do have the limestone, I think, somewhere. Yeah. Limestone, limestone. What else do we need? And then we need this, that. Put that in. Then we need one more over here. And then one more chest. Two more chests. Actually, you'll be over there. You'll be over there. And then a couple more of these. This, that, this. This will be more of that. And that's going to be our output. And this is our bullet maker. Uh, yeah, let's fire it up with some big knights. That seems fine. That seems fine. And you can already see over here. Yeah, it, it, it takes a while for, for to make a magazine over here. Uh, but with this, we can like fill this one up every now and then. Are we already through our materials? No, loaders load it up to the max. As they always do. And let's make a couple more of these. Let's make another one that makes you. Let's make another one that makes you. And is there another intermediate that we need to make a lot of? Not at the moment. Could we maybe not run it on, on wood? Yeah. Run it on this. And then you get some of that. Perfect. Let's pick up some more bronze. Because we can. There we go, 1,000, yeah. This machine is doing good. And we got some magazines over there, perfect. Uh, and then we need some more of the tin, there we go. Yeah, you get that and that. Make some more of that. Uh, that's all impure iron ore and pure iron ore and pure tin ore. I do hope that we can be using that soon. That should be fine, that should be fine. Let's have some water. Uh, didn't I have some water bottles on me? It doesn't seem to be the case. There we go. <laughs> now we have some water bottles on us. Drink that water. And with enough med packs, we should be able to, to take out any kind of barter nest. But we do need some fish for that. There's one. Mine. Get over here. Yeah, you can walk to... There, there, then alien biomes add shallow water to, to the mix. So you can walk to certain parts of the water, which makes uh, defending choke points 
a little bit more interesting because you can't always uh, rely on uh, the choke points. Good, make some more med packs. Um, what do we do with the raw salmon? Do we just cook it? I think we maybe just cook it. Yeah, we just cook it. Good, uh, but we got a couple of med packs. We do need to kill some natives. Um, so what does the gun machine say? Gun machine says we got some more clips over there. Uh, we got three clips of the tin plated. I kind of want some more. So what are we missing? Tin plate. So how about you and you? We're also kind of missing some limestone. Um, that's also going to be out like right away. Um, before we go then, let's maybe go over here to the limestone patch that magically appeared overnight. Uh, I have no quite, not quite sure where it came from. Um, and just put some miners on top of this. And get some of the limestone out. Because we are going to be needing that soon. Uh, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, some more chests, please. There we go, there we go. And in you go. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out the, the basic limestone field is just a basic stone field. But for some reason, and I'm not quite sure what it is, uh, Dysog tried to explain it in, in on stream, and I, I just didn't listen. <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered to listen, to be perfectly honest. Uh, he explained it on stream why it was working like that, but uh, it seemed something, 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 SpaceX spawning, something, something, something to be an issue. Uh, but that's fine, that's fine. Um, we're just gonna spawn in the field if we need it. There we go. Make some more bullets over here. Get some more ammos in here. That should be more than enough ammo. Tin plated. Uh, that's a thousand bullets. <laughs> uh, we could maybe wait on one more clip. There we go. There it comes. And then we also have the little rover. Which will be so much easier to drive in single player than in multiplayer. Because driving in multiplayer... Horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Uh, but driving in single player. Fine. Fine. Uh, let's put some coal in there. Off we go. Now the little rover over here. Um, he of course has a little gun. Uh, where do we need to go? We are going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. We need to go. This seems to be the correct way. Donk. Okay, maybe it's not too far away. Ooh, there's a meteor right over there. Should be somewhere over here. Oh, further down. Oh, I can hear him. Oh, really now? Elder Arachnitive? Yeah, these these are horrible. These are absolutely horrible. So these also spawn on the map. Um, they basically make advanced enemies. Uh, we can't deal with them. The only thing I can do is to hope to... Yeah, we got it. Okay, and now we're going to run away. <laughs> now we're just going to run away. Um, and we're gonna find some other... Oh, there's more of them over there. Ah! And then we're gonna look for some other guys we're gonna be finding. Some smaller guys. There must be some smaller guys around here somewhere. Ooh, fertile soil. Nice. Yeah, Elder Arachnites. Uh, yeah, they're, they're just gonna eat us if we're not careful. Come on, there must be some bites around here somewhere. I did set the starting area to maximum. So, <laughs> might have to drive a bit. There we 
go. That might also be an issue setting that to maximum. Now that you think about that, because then the bases will be that size. Oh god. Um also not good. Um uh, maybe maybe we find something smaller. <laughs> um Maybe maybe something more our size over here. Ow. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we're lucky. And at the end of the day, uh, we just do some exploring. That's also fine. Also, random parts of the ship will spawn on the map, which is kind of nice. Because if you ever had an explosion in space, you do know that you are getting splattered everywhere. Well, like, absolutely everywhere. That sandstone. Um... Hmm. Nope. That's Elder Arachnites. We don't want to be messing with them. Ow. Found a cliff. That's more Elder Arachnites. Let's go a little bit south and see if this connects back up. It might not connect back up. Nah, nah, it does, it does, it does. Okay. Uh. So. Oof. Elder Arachnites. Now, there is a way how we can deal with them. Uh, but it's gonna be tricky. Can we make some, some guns? Some turrets. What do we need? We need some limestone. Let's pick up some limestone. Um, maybe taking out one of the Elder Arachnid nests is maybe the best way to do it. Um, good thing about the Elder Arachnid nests is uh, they don't spawn too many new enemies. So if you basically kite the first wave and you just kite them away a little bit, uh, we can just put down a turret or two um, and just start blasting that nest. The nest itself is also pretty, 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 pretty tough. So we're definitely going to have a hard time. Uh, limestone. Limestone. That should be enough limestone for a while to make a whole bunch of clips. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we need to kill 18 natives and destroy one native hive. Now, we might also try our luck over there. Uh, that might also work, and we might just make, like, a fallback line for ourselves, where we can just fall back to. Uh, but let's maybe cook some fish for now. We need some food. I <laughs> don't want to be eating carrots all the time. What are you missing? You are missing wood, of all things. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> The fish does about as much as the carrot. <laughs> well, so be it. So be it. Then we eat more carrots. We're going to be healthy. Healthy, healthy, healthy. That should be fine. That should be fine. Give, give me that wood. Yeah, you have some of these. You have some of that. You have some of that. Give me some of these. Good. We've got two turrets. Uh, I think we can also make some walls if we want to. Yeah, let's make some more walls. Yeah, it's going to be fine. We just have to be doing a little bit of turret creeping. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, I guess... Now we have to make a decision. We could either go for the big nest or the uh, elder nest. Let's check out the elder nest over here. I mean, um, we did kind of kite them away, so we might be lucky. They might still be far away, and we could just still kite them again and again and again. 
What's that? Oh, that's a green tree. Where were they? They were on top of us. Yeah, they're over there. Look at that. They're just standing over there, not knowing anything. And the nest is over here. Okay, we... we okay, they, they do come running back to us straight away. But well, let's just count them away. Get over here. Oh, there's an impact over there. There's an old car over there. And then we drive back as fast as we can, prepare the gun. Both of them. Oh, don't drive with the rocks. Because as you can see over there, nothing is spawning over here. Put those down. And then we just keep cutting. <laughs> the guns will take a while to get through that thing. We could also put like a clip into the gun, into the car. And we could start blasting. We should not hit rocks. But then again, if we kill them, uh, we spawn more over there. So let's maybe not do that. Uh... Okay, they're almost done. <laughs> That's one way of, of doing this. Good, but but yeah, combat. Oof, combat can be hard. We done yet? There we go. Actually, is a good ammo. Oh, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take forever! It's one down. We also have to focus on fire because they do regenerate. Two down. Three down. Let's take this one first. Come on, come on, that's four down. And now play the Benny Hill theme. <laughs> uh, well, as long as it gets the job done, I'm happy with that. They did shoot about 500 bullets each. Good. And now it only says kill more biters. We could try to kill more of these boys, but maybe maybe let's trigger a wave of the small boys uh, from the base over here and just kill a couple of them. If we can find them. Further up north. Further up north. And ooh, there's a big rock pile in here. Be careful of that. There they are. Yeah, we should be killing them much faster and much easier. It's like two bullets each. Okay, at least the game pauses. That's good.
Trying to retrieve Koika is harder than it first looked. The AI is so complex that even extraction from the core is troublesome. One wrong move and Koika is gone. And my chance of survival gone with it. While trying to extract it, I re retrieved six recipe blueprints. Two were decrypted right away and the rest is going to take a while. The decrypted recipes are a med pack and stronger bullets. These things will certainly help me defend around the crash site. I have been given some thought on how to implement Quaker. It seems the properties of the metals on this planet are significantly amplified compared to those on Earth. This might give Koika a chance to be properly implemented. Luckily, I already found the Koika implant base um, in, the in the ship after I crashed. Soon, I can start with the proper exploration and figuring out why everything happened. Good, and then we need to kill more natives. Sure, let's let's maybe do the killing native thingy real quick. Let's spawn another wave. There we go. And now seeing how easy it was to kill these, I think just, just killing this base would have been easier. Okay, two more. Okay, it's a little bit more than two. Okay, and now we're just gonna run away. There we go. They should disengage after a while. Good. And then craft med packs. Didn't I already make med packs? Oh, no, I made basic medical packs. But med packs is basically the basic med pack plus a tin plate on top of it. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Good. Let's go back to base. So I'm not quite sure how much I will be recording of Dire World today. Um, definitely this episode. Maybe another one. Uh, but the Dire World releases will be interleaved with the Timberborn releases. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to be setting up that schedule yet. Um, but we will see. Also, did I... I'm all the way over there. Okay, I see where I am. Um, we need to go this way. But do expect uh, a couple of um, Dire World episodes per week. Two, maybe three. And then Timberborn, the same. Uh, it, it, I will definitely fill up the week, so there will be an upload every day. That's definitely how it's going to be. But I can't really tell you how the ratio will be yet. Good. Build your base so that your defenses kill the natives. Attacks are incoming. Really? Attacks are incoming? Really? We might want to implement some defenses. We might also want to implement some more mining. Do we already get? No. We need some more limestone. That's not a big problem. We might also want to set up some, some more of the coal extraction over here. But let's get some limestone. Limestone is over there. Uh, we could also start drinking some water. I mean, the game itself has a mechanic later in the game where it will actually spawn attacks that are coming to you. And you will... Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, you will have to constantly uh, defend your base. So you do need something like a decent base defense. Good. But I guess we're going to be fine for now. What is this? Impure tin ore. Um, yeah, put some in there. And then put the rest in there. And then let's also do something about this copper over here. We also probably want to do something about you. And here, just start off with some lignite. There we go. Rotate you around so that this cycle can keep going. There we go. I think these are are out. Perfect. Pick them up. And then just move them over here. And with a bit of coal, we have a whole bunch of lignite. Let's fire them up with lignite. There we go. We should think about uh, making some of that nice, nice uh, charcoal. 
because just burning up some, some wood into charcoal is definitely a good idea. Let's also pick up some of the sandstone over here. Uh, we should cook that up into some more bricks. We definitely need more lignite. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's more than enough lignite. Good. You there. Uh, sandstone. I think that was already sandstone, but now it's definitely sandstone. And then lignite. There you go. Keep going. And then drop that recipe. Perfect. Pick up all of this. We definitely gonna need all of this. Good. Um, and then we do have some impure copper. There you go. Put that in. Let's make some more bronze. Good. Uh, that's the iron machine. Uh, sure. Let's pick stuff up. Whew, my inventory is getting full. Uh, oh, and our crafting speed is now increasing. Perfect. Uh, our inventory slots are also getting fuller by the minute. Um, so that's good as well. So, what do we need? What do we need? Uh, let's have a quick peek at the map. Um, pollution is still fine. Uh, there's some nests around there. There's another nest over there. I didn't even see that one yet. Uh, we have a whole bunch of iron ore on our hands. Can we do anything with the iron ore? Yet. No. Doesn't seem to be the case. Um, we can make some more burners. We can make some more mat packs. We can make some more ammo if we wish to. Um, let's maybe make some more guns. Oh, sorry about that. And maybe start placing some guns over here at these choke points. Um, because why not? And then let's also make some more ammo. There we go. Yeah, you're making more bullets. You're making more bullets. Perfect. And you're just ranking up in ammo production over here. How many bullets do you have over there? Oh, you've completely packed up in there. It's like a chain gun over here. That's actually something I like. You can't actually make a chain gun in this game. Like belts into turrets with loaders. I should still deactivate my, 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 my Twitch follower thingy when I'm recording for YouTube. But don't tell anyone. I will always forget. <laughs> also, this is kind of weird. <laughs> Daylight? Nighttime. Daylight? Nighttime. Daylight? Nighttime. Meh. But thanks so much for your follow. <laughs> also, I should probably at some point integrate uh, YouTube um, subscriptions into my notifications. But let's just make some turrets over here. And let's place one over there. Let's place one over there. Early, early defenses is just basically just, just have something sit around. Because at some point, uh, you will get attacked at some point in time. Um, so it's just wise to place down some of these every now and then. Like on some semi-natural choke points. We have this gun over there. I think I'm just going to move it over there to the uh, completely unknown. I have no clue where it came from. Uh, <laughs> limestone deposit. Ha! Okay, let's let's pick up this rock. I do kind of like that I just can mine outside of my car. It's like, roll that window down, get the old pickaxe out, and then donk, donk, donk. And you, you there over there. We're going to move you. There we go. Uh, meteorite coming down. That's fine. Yeah, this feels like a choke point. Let's place like two guns over here. It doesn't have to be too accurate um, where they are, but just, just placing them somewhere is always nice to have. You gotta be thanking yourself later. Uh, and I mean, if these go if these turrets get destroyed, so be it. Uh, they're not there to, to, to hold the line or anything like that. They're just there to, to um, sit around and shoot stuff. Good. Uh, got some turrets over there, some turrets over there. Let's maybe place some turrets over here as well. 
Oh, is that a limestone deposit over there? <laughs> ah, I'm running through a cliff. Dang it. <laughs> um, sure. Over here. One over there. One over there. And then surround them with some of this. There's also multiple tiers of walls. I mean, these are the classic stone brick walls. They only have like 250 health. Not a lot. Later on, you can make walls out of concrete, of course, uh, out of iron. Okay, let's pick up two over here. Two over there. Uh, which is going to be so much better. Good. We play some turrets around. This should be fine. This should be fine. Good. Then, uh, where's my base? Oh, I'm driving past it. <laughs> it's over there. Um, good, 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 good. Let's get over here. Let's get over there. Let's get down over here. Let's get down over there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And let's park it up over here. So, we could progress in the quest. Um, yeah, maybe why not? Um, also, let's just get rid of some of this stuff. Ugh, spaceship full. <laughs> Spaceship full. <laughs> it's just full. That should be fine. Uh, let's also get some of these. There we go. Get some bricks. Always nice to have some bricks. Get some of these. Always nice to have some of these. Get some of these. Why not? Get these. Get that. Yeah, sure. Let's progress a little bit. Um, make two med packs. Nope. Okay, the remaining four recipes are decrypted. They are for copper and iron. It seems Koika is helping me without my knowledge. They are inefficient recipes, but they will do for now. Eventually, I get to bloomeries and blast furnaces, and maybe even fusion crafting. The scanner is picking up a, a massive energy signal. Last night, I could have sworn I saw light and movement in the sky. I'm starting to think there's more intelligent life than myself and the natives, if you can call them intelligent. They seem to have be a form of a massive spider-like ant with basic instincts. I could really hurry with getting Koika, but uh, before whatever else on this planet finds me. Ha! Huh. There are sound effects. Okay. So, what do we get? What do we get? Um, we now have things like iron ingots, tin ingots, copper ingots. Which we can now make. We can also make copper wire. Uh, we can now make steel. <laughs> we can make steel chests. We don't know how steel works. Don't tell anyone. Um, and we can now also make copper plated bullets. Which have a way, way higher physical damage. Um, what do we need to make? Kill some more natives. We need to kill even more natives. All right, and we need to make some iron gears, sure. So we need to make some iron plates for that. Iron plates, um, we can get from iron ingots. Iron ingots are being cooked up if in some basic kilns. Uh, no need to automate this right now. We're just going to do it like this. Make some iron. There we go. Didn't I just put like a metric ton of iron over here? There we go. And you need some charcoal. Ah, charcoal! There it goes. Uh... So that's where we need to charcoal for. Um, so I guess it's time for us to make uh, a charcoal maker. Good. Make more of this. Let's pick up some more of the bronze over there. There's like 1,500 bronze in there. Perfect. Uh, and then pick up this, that, this, that. I think this will need bronze. Perfect. Just make some more of this stuff. It'll be fine. Let's pick up some of this. What do you need? You need more tin? We got tin. There you go, make more circuits. Also, let's pick up all this ammo. Excellent. What are you waiting on? You're waiting on more tin? Uh, so be it. Good. So how do we make charcoal again? Um, I think we make them in the kiln. <laughs> you make pretty much everything in the kiln. Uh, there it is, charcoal. Uh, wood and limestone, which means we kind of need... Uh, let's, let's, let's make the same setup we have made over here. Uh, Semi-automated. I mean, um, wood and limestone. We can use the wood to fire up, up ourselves, and then the limestone. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know. I know. 
So it's going to be like this. Also, let's have a check at how fast the recipe is. The recipe is we need five wood every 2.5 seconds. Actually, we need five wood every second because these have a crafting speed of 0.5. And then we also need a bit of limestone. So the way we're going to do it is we're definitely going to go with a half and half belt, but we're going to go with like two sides. Uh, one, two, three. And not two sides, but double the amount of burner inserters for which we need the pure iron which i of course dumped all into the spaceship uh that's fine that's fine let's fire these boys up again i think this is the iron and some of them are out the ones that are out we just pick up there we go you're out as well you're out as well there we go and then, look at this! We can make some burn inserters. Sure. Can we also make some more kilns? We can make some more kilns. Perfect. I've probably made way too many of these. But let's make a row of this. Let's make a row of that. Then, belt. There we go. A belt of this. A belt of that. Uh, it comes out at the rate of... What is this? Like, three charcoal every five seconds. So, we... Ah, but we can't use burn inserters on the inside. Because we do not pass through the fuel. That's fine. That's fine. Just gonna have something like this. And then... This might be a little bit too much. But you know what? I'm happy with it. And then we're gonna have something like this. Which means we're gonna need all of this. All of that. I'm <laughs> uh, gonna need some more kilns. And then, last but not least, we are going to need a splitter. <laughs> Sounded close by. It was not close by. And a couple more loaders. Because these over here, they will be putting out their stuff like this. There we go. There we go. I guess we can place this down like this. And then, zzzz. And zzz. uh, okay, more loaders are coming in. Perfect. Um, you, 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 and then two more, one more. Come on, there we go. That works. Um, and then yeah, uh, we're gonna have the wood come from over here. And then we're going to have a chest over here where we're going to be putting in some limestone. And then we're going to need the splitter. Mm, this one actually be inefficient. <laughs> That's not efficient belt splitting. Um, yeah, we have to do it the classic way. And uh, the classic way is this. Um... Yeah, we're going to have one over there, one over there. You go this way. You go this way. Um, you can go up. You can go over. You go in via the back to fire up the machine. And then we're going to have the chest over there. And we're going to have the loader over there. That'll be fine. And then this one will be filled up with some, not granite, limestone. I actually have some limestone on me. There we go. It is limestone, isn't it? Yes, it is limestone. And then we do the same at the bottom. Just put it into a chest for now. Good. That works. Basic automation. A very, very low level automation. But as long as it works, it works. Good. Uh, we might also need to make some copper plates. So, you know what? Zip. You there. You make copper ingots. What do we need for that? We need the Imperial Copper. Uh, I kind of get the feeling that we should probably increase our burner inserter efficiencies over here. I always <laughs> pressed the wrong button over there. There's a whole copper field over there. Um, let's see if we can... Yeah, we can definitely get some more out of this one. And then I do have some Lignite. There you go. Do 
good. Yeah, this, that we have this this mixed field over here. Or patch crossovers like this are always a little bit annoying. Good. We're doing real good on coal. Um, let's pick up some of these because we're probably gonna need all of these. Um, I think we should make some more ammo. It's definitely not frowned upon to make a little bit more ammo. And then we should also feed the bronze machine a little bit more. And what's with these? Are these all out? These are all out. This one's out as well. As is this. As are these. Let's maybe put them like this and that. Then we can get at least the rest out of it. Like night. Well, it's now also in the chest. <laughs> Give me that again. Oh, I put more in. <laughs> Good, you. Make copper. What do we need? Any kind of fuel. Like night. Why not? Start cooking. Let's have a peek at the charcoal machine. Uh, how many more drillers do we have? Not a lot. Yeah, this charcoal machine is already outperforming the charcoal machine we had on stream. <laughs> because loaders are not everything. But this thing is doing fine. This thing is doing real fine. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's see. Charcoal. There we go. It's kind of hard to see. Basically has a bit of a similar graphic. Uh, that's not how that's going to work. Okay. Um, sure, let's use coal. Zip. And then put the charcoal in. There we go. Make more of that. That's also a whole bunch of bricks over there. Perfect. Uh, we could start breaking it up a little bit. Wait, what did it say? The tile below entities may delete the entity. Oh, I see. But yeah, let's maybe start making some paths. Um, because having a path is nice. Makes it walk a little bit faster. And walking faster is always nice to have. There we go. There we go. Get some roads in here. Good. Do I have some more copper on me? I only got the pure copper on me. Ugh. So much pure copper on me. Now, you can use space, uh, spaceship parts for storage. So that's fine. Yeah, let's put some in there. <laughs> let's put some of the coal in there. Uh, let's put some belts in there. Sure. The pipes, why not? Um, yeah, have a pack of circuits. <laughs> Good. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Uh, we do need to do something about fuel soon. I also kind of want to check up on my map real quick in terms of pollution. That was actually a good idea to, 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 to kill these guys over there. Uh, but pollution is doing fine. We're kind of a little bit in a forest, so we should be good. Uh, we should maybe also drink a little bit. And eat some carrots. And there is a, another coal deposit over here. It's kind of It kind of looks like Africa. A bit. <laughs> Um, do we already have electrical drills? No. Ah, I want my electrical drills. They just make things a little bit easier. I just make a power plant and then just go. <laughs> and yeah, these actually will not be going into chests. These will be going in a circle. There we go. And then start it off with a piece of wood. Good. Oh, I've almost been recording for an hour. Um, so let's see. Can we can we quickly finish this quest? No, we cannot. But we can definitely quickly finish up the armor gears and the copper cable. So let's do that real quick. Uh, but let's make this somewhat sensible. Let's make another one of these and another one of these. 
uh, because we do need a whole bunch of copper plates uh, because we don't make the materials out of the plates directly. We make it out of uh, the ingots. So you get these and you get that. I don't think we make anything out of ingots directly. I think it's all always made out of plates. Could be wrong about that. If I'm wrong about that, I will figure that out later. But I think it's always, always, always out of plates. And never, ever, ever out of uh, ingots itself. So set yourself up like a little crafting machine like this. Even if it's a burner, that's fine. Just top them up with like 500 coal every now and then. It's going to be good for a while. I mean, these machines over here, okay, they, they do need some coal at some point in time. But then we get at least some of this in and some of that in. Uh, we do, we should make some more burner machines over here. There we go. There we go. Uh, you over here, you just start making some iron gear wheels. And you start to make some copper gear uh, wheels. There we go. Oh, <laughs> the iron gear wheels. We make them out of ingots. I see. <laughs> Oops. Um, then let me figure out something for that here. You just run on some coal. Um, and then let's get some more of these. There we go. Let's get some more of these. Some more of that. Iron gear wheels. Go. You're running on lignite. That is fine. Uh, crafted by player of all things. <sighs> I'm playing Factorio to get. <laughs> All right, pocket crafting. Two iron gears, three copper cable. <laughs> what do we need it for? Yeah. Oh, okay, it doesn't update right away. <laughs> uh, but what requires, like, copper gears and cable? I'm kind of uncertain about it. I just automated it right away because that's what you do. But but nothing over here requires anything of that. Well, so be it. So be it. So, uh, we did a little bit more of the quest with our Act 1, Phase 8. Uh, and sure. Let's see what happens next time around. So, if you do like what you see, please do leak a like, a follow, a subscribe, or maybe even a follow on twitch.tv slash boldviking, where I'm playing even more Factorio in terms of Pyanodons. Uh, nevertheless, um, any kind of those actions do help me out in growing my channel, and I do want to grow this channel because I'm having way too much fun in creating content. And without further ado, I wish you all a good night. Until next time!